If you've ever seen this place before, you've probably played old school RuneScape, or RuneScape in some form as a child. And this place is called the Grand Exchange. Basically what the Grand Exchange does in RuneScape is it allows people to all come together into one centralized place and buy and sell items. It's a great place to go if you have a lot of items and you want to go and find someone to sell them to. Unfortunately for CSGO, there isn't exactly a Grand Exchange. There's not one centralized place that everybody can go to to just buy and sell items. While there are a lot of third party marketplaces and a lot of trading servers, there's not like one general one that's really good for everybody to go to. Because of this, this video basically functions to be your guide to a CSGO Grand Exchange and how to find the most effective ways to buy and sell your items anywhere on the planet. I've had a lot of requests for a video like this over the time I've been a YouTuber and I've also seen a lot of developments, especially recently, with places to go in order to find trades and I think because it's such a confusing world out there and a lot of people that are new to the trading scene especially don't really know a lot of good places, this is probably going to be a pretty good video for those people. This is also going to be a good video though if you are a veteran trader because it'll probably still open you up to a new possibility in different forms of trading communities that you can find. Before we start on this video though, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the sponsor for today's video, which is going to be Skinport.com. Skinport has been great to sponsor a lot of these videos and they are a great site to use and I wouldn't keep taking their sponsorships if I did not really truly believe in them as a website. They're a great site to go for all of your CSGO item needs. They have a huge amount of inventory, over 150,000 items listed on the site. They also have great prices and a lot of wide variety of ways to cash out and also cash in. If you want to go ahead and check them out, be sure to use the link in the description below to support the channel directly. Thanks. The way this video is going to be structured is I'm going to kind of section it off into different areas. There's going to be communities online in the form of Discord servers and in the form of forums, and there's also going to be just some other miscellaneous ones that don't exactly fall into those categories, and then there's also going to be extra ones that I want to throw in as well, and I'm also going to be talking about a few of the trading servers that currently exist on the community server browser in CSGO. If you already are pretty proficient with one of these areas and already have a good understanding of the communities there and you want to just kind of find a different community there's going to be timestamps up on screen right now for how you can find the specific servers that you want to go to without further ado hopefully this is useful to some of you guys out there and thank you for watching this video let's get started also if you want to join my discord server which does actually have a trading section on it as well as a wide variety of other things including investment talk channels that you can find all of the best investors in the CSGO community and ask them questions you can go ahead and join the discord server with the link in the description below all right let's go ahead and start this off by taking a look at some of the trading servers that are available on Discord. So there's a lot of these available and a huge variety of them, but the ones that are going to be best for finding the most amount of people that are like-minded and trying to trade their items are going to be as follows. The first server we're going to talk about is going to be Random Brit. It's probably one of the biggest Discord servers out there for trading, and while it does have some issues here and there, like any Discord server would, it is still probably the best option for a great generic trading server to go to. I personally don't use Random Brit, but I do know that it exists, and I also know that a lot of people do use it, so if you are interested, be sure to join that one. The next one's going to be Trademart. So Trademart's another really large trading Discord server, and it's owned by a lot of the prominent members of the CSGO community in terms of trading. It's a really great one to go to as well, and again, a pretty generic one, just like Random Brits, and also very large. Another really good option for finding some like-minded people. The next Discord server is going to be CSGO Station. So CSGO Station has sponsored the channel in the past, but they have not sponsored this video, and I kind of did this just off my own volition. I do personally honestly think they are a great server to go to for trading needs, for investing needs, for networking needs, pretty much anything you can find in the CSGO community, you're going to have a great little channel in CSGO Station to go to. It's a great like all-in-one hub and it does have a pretty vibrant trading community as well. The next Discord server recommendation is actually more of a general one. Basically just go to any major prominent CSGO YouTubers Discord servers because they're pretty much always going to have trading sections since that is such a large part of CSGO as a whole. I actually do have a trading section in mine as well, actually split up into a few different types of trading sections to kind of organize where you're going to advertise your trades. So that's going to be a great option as well. You can find pretty much anyone just by going to that YouTuber's channel or going to one of their social media pages and going to their Discord server. If you want to go ahead and join mine, like I said, description below. There's also going to be community servers that actually also have Discord servers. And because these community servers are focused on trading, they're also going to have prominent Discord servers. There's a few that are large and well 
worth talking about. The first one's going to be Rice Trading. There's also Noor Trading and TGP. All of these do have Discord servers as well, which you can go to find trades, but do kind of have to figure out the community that exists on these servers because some of them can be a little bit volatile and pretty well knit just because they are on community servers itself. Basically what I mean is, is because they are on community server browser, there's going to be a lot of people that are very, very intrigued into CSGO trading to the point where it can become a little bit crazy or toxic if you want to call it that. So there are going to be some servers out there that you just kind of have to do your own independent research into and figure out if you actually belong in that community or not. However, it's still worth mentioning these just because they are pretty prominent and do have a large amount of members that are focused on trading. Moving away from Discord servers, we have online forums, which are another mode to find a lot of trades online, and there are a lot of them out there. They're not as prominent as they used to be back in the day, but there are still a few that are good options. On Reddit, for example, there are quite a few subreddits that you can go into for CSGO trading. Just keep in mind that some of them are actually scam subreddits, so you will have to actually do a little bit more research in that regard. One of the most major ones, though, is going to be r slash global offensive trade, which is probably the biggest CSGO trading forum on the entire planet. So if you want to go and find a lot of trades, that's a good one to go to. I always find myself posting trades on that subreddit whenever I do trading. There's a few others like CSGO trading, but those are vastly less used. So if you are going to use Reddit for trading, I would definitely just recommend using Global Offensive Trade, but there are other options if you're looking for something else. Now the final section of this video is going to be dedicated to the miscellaneous options, of which there are four main ones that I want to talk about. The first is going to be a few actual physical community servers for trading in CSGO itself. That's going to be able to be found by going to the community server browser. The major ones are going to be TGP or the Global Paradise. It's also going to be Rice Trading and also Noor Trading. All of these are great options. There was also a big one called Alias back in the day, but obviously by now that has kind of died off. If you want, you can also use Surf servers for trading, but those ones are going to be a, probably a bit less successful and are of course less targeted, but they are still options even though they are a little bit weird. The next miscellaneous place to advertise your trades at is going to be on the Steam Discussion board. Boards. This one actually does get me a lot of trade offers whenever I post on it, but a lot of them tend to be lower quality than the ones I get on Global Offensive Trade or a different place like that, so just kind of keep in mind that they are going to generally be sometimes lower quality. Now another place that you can go that's also going to be related to Steam is going to be Steam Groups. There are a lot of Steam Groups out there, and it's a little hard to actually get your trades found on those, but it is an option if you're looking for more. As a quick side note before we continue, the main goal with this is just to kind of give you guys a bunch of different places that you can go to advertise your trades, and if you use all of them in conjunction, you can actually get a huge amount of advertising power for basically free, so that's going to be a good option. The next miscellaneous place to talk about is going to be Twitter. Twitter is actually a phenomenal place to go for trades, and there is a very targeted and and very hardcore trading community on Twitter and item community in general. It's a great place to go if you want to advertise your items, and I do find myself using Twitter a lot to advertise my items. I think it's a great place. If you start off by following some of the bigger people like Fat Metal and Onapixel, you're going to be able to basically integrate into the community and find more and more people that you are interested in trading with. It's a great place to go. There's also, of course, the entire direct messaging system, and you can also use Twitter for other needs other than just trading, so it is a good place to go. Also, your tweets are pretty much permanent, even though some of them will lose recency, so it is a good place to go for trading on your own personal Twitter page. The final miscellaneous place I'm going to talk about is a little bit of a niche one, and this one is going to be mainly for those really hardcore veteran traders. It's going to be private Discord servers that are invite only. The major one right now is called Shark Bay, and you do have to get a special invite that is going to be timed, and it, usually they are going to post those on Twitter, so if you want to go ahead and check out Shark Bay, that is an option as well. I don't really know how to advertise or talk about Shark Bay, because it is a little bit weird how it's all private and everything. I personally haven't joined it, but it is a very hardcore trading community if you're into that. Overall, that's pretty much going to be all of the best places to go and find trades, and it's going to be a large amount of them as well. What I would recommend, like I said, is kind of using them in conjunction with each other and getting a large amount of them to have your advertised trades on them so that you can kind of just have a wide reach. That's basically how you are going to be able to do this the most effectively. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a subscription. It really does help out. Also, be sure to click that like button to help me out with that YouTube YouTube algorithm and be sure to comment to also further help with that YouTube algorithm and let me know what you thought or if you have any other ideas for other places that people can go to trade on and I'll go ahead and heart and also pin your comments if they are good options. I'm going to be responding to as many people as I can and of course join my Discord server and check out my Twitter by using the links in the description below. Also be sure to check out Skinports. I will see you guys next time. Be sure to check out all those links and peace.